TIFU by not getting the one thing my job needed for a lawsuit. Literally writing this as I'm in the office waiting to be fired essentially. Don't got anything else to do anymore. So I basically work in the HR department of my job as an assistant and a few months ago we had an accident in our workplace where a man got sucked into a machine and it scrambled his arm. He's fine now but of course he's suing the company and my task was to record the videos of the process of how we turn the machine off before cleaning it and blah blah. Simple enough so I recorded from February to March 17th or so and the accident occurred April 2nd. I figured that was enough. Then come to realize we never had the actual accident recorded and I was supposed to actually record past that date even. I thought a few days wouldn't be that bad and I assumed they had the accident itself already recorded. But yeah I dk much about computers and servers but I think after a few months the videos delete from the servers so now we don't even have the accident nor a few days before it and it's completely my fault for being so incompetent but oh well. I knew this wasn't a permanent job but I'm mostly scared they'll fire my boss who's a level higher than me because she trusted me to get the job done. I wouldn't mind taking all the blame at this point just to protect her job. TLDR didn't record videos I needed for a lawsuit so now the company I work for can't fight back as good as they should I guess. Now I'm 99 likely to get fired. I'll keep everyone updated. This doesn't make any sense. The employer's lawyer's insurance carriers would have wanted a copy of the video within the week of the accident. No way everyone sat on this for months without a copy until it got deleted. A few months ago we had an accident in our workplace where a man got sucked into a machine and it scrambled his arm. He's fine now. Unrelated to your post. But can you give me the name of his doctor and surgeon? If I get into an accident, I want these miracle workers on my side. Something feels off about this post. I'm not the only one who thinks so. Right? Saying things like blah 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 and oh well as well as casually calling yourself incompetent. On top of that makes it seem like you're pretty apathetic. I don't think you should be working in an HR capacity with that attitude. Contact the IT department. Ask for the backup. I'm pretty sure the life of the guy with the scrambled arm sucks more than yours. Even if you get fired. Brew if there is a legal case you shouldn't even be posting online. If you lose your job. I don't disagree with that. And have some empathy sweet Jesus. I recorded from February to March 17th or so and the accident occurred April 2nd. I figured that was enough then come to realize we never had the actual accident recorded. Huh. Of course you didn't have the accident recorded you stopped recording weeks before it happened. Right. Well. Frankly. If dealing with an incident that is this serious and has this significant consequences is handled. Like this at your company. Losing the video evidence is indicative of a work environment that perhaps is slapdash and unprofessional enough particularly with instruction, training and supervision that someone might lose an arm. And they did. So. Hope the guy wins the lawsuit. This post doesn't make sense. Okay. It's been a couple hours. Did you or anyone get fired? I don't know exactly what your position in HR is. But if a regular part of your job has to do with safety or the cameras, you should have realized as soon as you heard about the accident that you were going to need that video. But then immediately after you were told to pull video for the other things before the accident. I would have thought to grab that video to look for any negligence on the employee's part. 
And and even if you miss those two moments. The employee's lawyers fucked up by not immediately requesting video of the accident. Assuming you're in the U.S. and that your company is represented by an attorney in the pending or imminent litigation, the attorney should have made clear exactly what evidence you needed to preserve and collect. If your company is large enough, you likely have in-house counsel who works with an outside litigation firm, and they are supposed to oversee the collection of evidence. So either you didn't read the attorney's instructions, or the attorney didn't do the, the job and you're getting the blame for it. Dang I bet that guy has an army of lawyers. This situation isn't humorous. Can't you give him a hand? What a terrible situation. Hands down. Aren't you familiar with the Second Amendment? Assuming this post is true. I don't think you effed up. That man needs to get paid. It is literally your job. It sucks, but you were being paid to do it and didn't double check exactly what you were supposed to do. It frankly is your boss's job as well to make sure you know what you are doing. She also could have double checked if you had obtained everything required. At least you understand where the blame lies. It is too late to change anything now, but you can always learn and double check things that are so important are done properly from now on. I hope they take it easy on your boss and you at least. Did Yarl notify THIT department if you have one? If you did, odds are they'll have backed up whatever was asked. Work as a sysadmin but when an accident occurs we usually hear within a week as tapes are wiped. Probably once a month unless we're required to record for longer in certain areas. As soon as we get a report we pull all camera footage relevant for the maximum period and stick it somewhere for the relevant team to review. TLDR we tell them the retention period they have to let us know before it expires. Remember when Creed had to talk to Debbie Brown and she happened to be on vacation? should be fired for that run-on sentence. Unless you're the IT guy or your job description clearly states you're the surveillance guy then you should be fine. Otherwise they'd have two lawsuits. Silver lining. The man will now actually get some decent money for his arm. If anything, that might have been a moral thing to do. Jobs come and go. Arms don't. A man got sucked into a machine and it scrambled his arm. He's fine now. D-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-